A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, Labor Day, September 4th. The news today on this Labor Day brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. An audit of the fixed assets in the Rondout Valley School District found officials did not properly account for and monitor those assets. As a result, the audit said there's an increased risk fixed assets could be lost, stolen, or misused. The audit was for the period of June 30th, 2020 through October 26th, 2022. Of the 80 fixed assets totaling more than $868,000, auditors reviewed 64 assets totaling more than $549,000 were not properly accounted for or monitored. State testing found 34 fixed assets with a combined cost of almost $56,000 did not have the required asset tags. 12 fixed assets with a combined cost of $214,000 could not be located, including a more than $22,000 French horn, a $6,300 snowplow, and an internet filter costing $4,300. Labor Day is observed annually on the first Monday of September and is a day to recognize American workers' social and economic achievements. Like many holidays, the meaning of Labor Day is often forgotten, but for Matt Haynes, a teacher, labor leader, and board member of the New York State United Teachers, recognizing workers is very important. He says labor and unions in general are what this country has been built on. Working, fighting for rights. You know, you look at things like the eight hour work day, you look at things like weekends, you look at things like safe working conditions. It wouldn't have been possible without people fighting for this, without unions insisting on this to happen. You know, just the fact that we can enjoy this weekend and then add on the extra day, right, is all because of labor, because of the unions itself. Haynes says Labor Day is a day to celebrate the history of our country and of our state. He says it means a lot to him as an individual. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The New York State Parole Board has once again denied parole for Juan Pinedo, who was convicted of murdering 12-year-old Danny Meyer in 1996. Danny, who lived in Maybrook, was brutally stabbed by Pinedo on his way to a Little League game. Now, more than 27 years after his murder, Danny's family and members of the community continue their effort to deliver justice for Danny. This is not the first time Pinedo has faced the parole board. He first became eligible for parole in a hearing back in 2021. Danny's killer will remain in prison for at least two more years, and our family wants to thank everyone for writing letters to the parole board, signing Assemblyman Marr's online petition, sending us caring words and your thoughts, prayers, and love over the past months, says Kristen Smith, Danny's sister. Before the leaves started dropping for autumn, one of the summer's final weekends of green took place Sunday at the city of Kingston's annual Hooli on the Hudson on the Rondout waterfront. After the opening ceremonies, which included local officials and members of the organized ancient order of Hibernians, the music started with the T. McCann band. Have a good Hooli, said Terry McCann, who leads the T. McCann band, referring to the moniker for party. State Senator Michelle Hinchy was part of the opening ceremonies at the Bill Yash stage, where McCann and his bandmates played afterwards. 
This was one of my favorite events since I was a wee one, Hinchy said. Food and music were the fair of the day at the Irish Festival, an event that has been conducted for more than two decades. City firefighters responded to a house fire on Weed Street in the city of Poughkeepsie Sunday morning and recovered two victims in the burning house. One victim is believed to have died. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.